With rookie quarterback Mark Sanchez sidelined with a knee ligament sprain, Jets backup Kellen Clemens will get the call Sunday in Tampa. That bit of news means good old number 20 will be getting the call again time after time from the backfield. And for Jets fans, they can't think of a better number to be called upon than Thomas Jones' number 20. You no, know, I'm just continuing to look forward and, um, you know, every day and every game is something new for me, new adventure for me. The Jets jump back into playoff contention on the shoulders of Jones. Thursday's performance moved him past the 1,000-yard rushing mark for the fifth straight season, including his third in a Jets uniform. We caught up with the humble running back and asked him about his days growing up in Virginia. I came from a you know a humble you know, upbringing. You know, both my parents worked in the coal mines. Uh, you know, and, and they were hard workers. You know, and that's the you know those are the examples that I saw growing up, and, and you know my NFL career and college career. And, even my high school career, you know, were, were examples of that. Both Thomas and his younger brother, Julius, would reward the family's efforts by making it big in the NFL. Great situation of my little brother in the NFL. You know, we talk it before every game on Sunday. Um, you know, we've been doing this, you know, together for a long time. We played against each other on Thanksgiving a couple of times. So, uh, you know, that made it a real special Thanksgiving for my family. It's definitely been a blessing, you know, having him in the league. You know, he's been a really good player, too. And, um, you know, we both strive, you know, to do the best we can, you know, to make our hometown proud and make our family proud. In 2006, Thomas and Julius became the first brother tandem in NFL history to rush for 1,000 yards in the same season. While successful on the field, Jones also took those family lessons and applied them to the classroom, where he earned his bachelor's in psychology in three years. It's not guaranteed, uh, you know, in, in high school and college you have dreams to make it to the NFL, but there's always injury and, uh, you know, other situations that may come up, you know, that, um, you know, might deter, you know, your goal of becoming an NFL football player. So, you know, education was definitely something big that my parents stressed to make sure we had something to fall back on. With the Bears, Jones helped the team reach Super Bowl 41. Although the Bears couldn't overcome the Colts on Super Sunday, Jones had emerged as a rising NFL star. So when the Bears decided to part ways with the up-and-coming running back, Chicago's loss was a major jet gain. It's been a great experience. New York is one of the best cities um, in the world. If you, if you have a fan that's a Jet fan, he's a Jet fan, win or lose. It's been a great experience playing here. Um, you know, and I, you know, hopefully I look forward to continuing to play here. What is something about Thomas Jones that the fans don't know that they should know? But I have a record label called the Out of Pocket Entertainment. I have two artists, uh, a singer from Atlanta named Miko and a hip-hop rap artist from uh, Columbus, Ohio named T-Tone. You know, that's something that I'm really into music. You know, I really love music. I've always loved music, even as a kid. In the end, the sounds of Jones rumbling and stumbling through the line is sweet music to the ears of the New York Jets. I know once I'm done playing football, I'll be able to look back and reflect on my career and the teams that I've played in, the cities that I've played in, the experiences that I've had. So I've had a great career and I've been blessed to play this long. And, you know, um, you know, I plan on playing a lot longer. So, um, you know, I just, like I said, you know, I just take it one day at a time. Let, 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 that, that don't kill me